And you know, my first real year, I did six figures. Um, and you know, I've gone on to do seven figures in total revenue since I actually started this business. But Yo, what up guys, Felix from Giant Lifestyle. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I wanna tell you guys about why I almost quit the medical commodities business. Now, this video is being shot in Medellin, Colombia. Let the camera focus up real quick. We have a awesome view of the city if it wants to focus up and there you guys have it so i love coming down to medellin the culture the vibe the energy the people is really awesome down here and the prices are pretty reasonable especially if you go to different cities that aren't in medellin like you know um menizales and all these different uh, Pereira, armenia um, different cities compared to what it might cost to live in New York, New Jersey, LA, um, I don't know, Florida. Uh, it's night and day. But in this video, I want to tell you guys about why I actually almost quit the medical commodities business. Now, I've been doing the business of buying and reselling diabetic testing supplies since basically 2016. I discovered it in 2015 after a real estate deal kind of went south. I was about to close on this huge deal. The deal fell through. And basically the other guy that was doing the deal really wasn't as pressed as I was to make sure the deal went through because he was already successfully running another business. And that's why I say it's important to have multiple streams. You don't want to get caught up out here doing one business, that business, has a change effect into it whether something changes the industry changes the price changes or whatever it is I actually just heard from a friend that runs another business in a completely different industry and he said that the price of one particular factor in that business shot up and now the business really isn't the same so you really want to have not only as much control in any business that you do but you also want to have multiple streams because you never want to get caught up out here so the guy that was doing that i was trying to do this particular real estate deal with basically wasn't too pressed and that's how i discovered the business of buying and reselling diabetic medical commodities if you don't know what the business of buying and reselling diabetic medical commodities is it's basically buying and reselling diabetic testing supplies there are over 30 million people inside of america that have diabetes and every single month they get a surplus of these supplies and most people either just throw them out or let them expire but if you know how to do what I know how to do and what my students know how to do and if you want more information on how you could potentially allow me to teach you this business check that first link down in the description but these people are either gonna throw these supplies out or they're going to just expire on the shelf. But if you know what I know, and if you know what a small select of people that do this business know, like I said, in this whole country, well, obviously not in Colombia, but in the whole country of the United States, there's probably no more than 500 to 1,000 people actually actively doing this business. People learn about it all the time, but how many people, not only with this industry or any industry, actually learn about something and then fully follow through? So I discovered it in 2015 and then actually get it up and rocking in 2016. And you know, my first real year, I did six figures. Um, and you know, I've gone on to do seven figures in total revenue since I actually started this business. But what I want to say in this video, and let me open up the window because it's a bit hot in here um, but what I want to say in this particular video is why at one point I actually almost quit the business and the reason I almost quit the business is because I didn't have a dedicated buyer and I found myself by putting products up on eBay to be sold for all sorts of different prices now eBay is a way that you can actually move and sell your diabetic testing supplies there's a, there are a lot of people that can put products up on there but me personally, I only do it, and I advise my students or the, who are in the Flipping Medical Commodities University training, like I said, click that first link down in the description if you want more access or more information about what this business consists of. We only put certain products on eBay. We don't put you know, 85 to 90% of our products onto eBay. In fact, 85 to 90% of our products don't go on eBay. They, in fact, go to our direct buyers. And that's the main reason as to why I at one point kind of thought about quitting this business and giving it up because the guy that I discovered this business from, he kind of like pushed me to the side. I'm sure everybody knows people like that who will act like they will try to help you, but when it comes to crunch time and them actually buckling down and helping you, they push you to the side. So he pushed me to the side, so I wasn't really able to learn from him. I offered to work for him, I offered to pay him for the information, and he basically wasn't having it. So, you know, me being the super determined person that I am, I said, listen, I'm gonna figure this out. But what I found myself doing is buying a lot of products that one, I couldn't really resell, 
Number two, I didn't know what they were reselling for. So the difference between then and now is the buyers that we resell them to, and keep in mind, some of the buyers I've been selling to, I've literally been selling to them for years and years and years and years, like year after year after year after year. And those same buyers I have, if you're inside of the university training, I give you those buyers. So you don't have to deal with eBay. Sometimes you can deal with eBay with certain products, but the main reason why I almost kind of just said, you know what, this business is a bit difficult and I'm having a lot of trouble figuring it out is because I didn't know, number one, what really to buy at because it's really important that you know you have like an, not only do you have a resale sheet, right, where we know exactly like this sells for this, this sells for that, like 20, 30, 40, 50 products on there where, you know, certain expiration dates pay this much, certain expiration dates, certain expiration dates pay that much. So I know exactly before I even buy a product how much I could sell it for. And I can avoid all fees because I could do wire transfer. I could do, uh, you know, I think there's a method with cash up that has no fees. Um, you know, I could, I could really eliminate the fees. Where with eBay, you, there's no eliminating the fees. It's, you know, a 10% eBay fee. Um, and the, the thing about, I don't like about eBay is they take their fee at the end of the month. I wish they would just take it off the top so you don't notice it, right? Like when I make money every single month, instead of getting hit with a huge tax bill at the end of the year, every single month, whatever my profit is, I take a 30% 30% um, off of that and just put it away so I don't even notice it. So that's the one thing I don't like about eBay. But the biggest thing that I found myself struggling with is one, I didn't know exactly what I could buy. I was getting leads from, from potential customers for all different types of products. And I figured, okay, I could just buy all of it. And certain things, you know, yes, I can buy all of it, but I can't really sell all of it. Now you can sell it, but you're not really gonna be you know, selling the best products. We, me, I personally only focus about, you know, on like four to six different brands. I don't buy everything. There are dozens and dozens. I mean, there are probably a thousand different brands of diabetic testing supplies on there. And, and this camera's pretty, um, you know, heavy to hold. You know, I usually hold it with like a tripod or a gimbal, but I'm just holding it because I don't have either of that at this very moment. So I didn't know exactly what to buy. And at the same time, not only did I not know what to buy, I didn't know what I could actually sell it for. So not knowing what I could buy, I found myself buying a lot of stuff that I either wouldn't make a profit on or just wouldn't sell at all. And then I also found myself not really profiting as much as I could. It wasn't until I got hooked up with a actual buyer that the business actually started to make sense. So I was making some money, but I didn't know what to buy, what not to buy, what to focus on, what to just let go to the side. And then I didn't know exactly how much I should buy it for, and then how much I could really sell for. And then once I got, you know, buyers and built relationships in the industry, in the business, and, you know, started actively doing this business that, you know, if the business really made sense. But when I was dealing with eBay, and I wish I didn't have to go through that, and that's why I recommend everybody to, you know, get to sell your products to direct buyers, because eBay, you know, I'm grateful for eBay because they have the they have the platform, they have the traffic, they have the buyers coming onto there. Not not only for diabetic products, but for anything like if you want to sell something quick, if you want to sell um, whatever the, whatever this thing is in my Airbnb, you could probably sell it because people on eBay are coming on eBay all day, every day long, looking to buy all types of things. So they have the traffic, but their fees and their rules, their limits, their regulations, their chargebacks is just sometimes more headache than it's worth to deal with. And having a direct buyer who can who can literally pay you any which way you want, whether it's PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, check, cash, wire transfer, um, I don't know, Google, Apple Pay, that could be done with the buyers we use. And then not only to mention, we know exactly who we're gonna sell them to, how much we're gonna make, how much to pay, what to buy, what not to buy, and it's just something you can't really deal with. And then not to mention with eBay, the worst part about eBay is if you try to take the communication off of eBay, you could risk it an IP band, banned in entirely, and then you can't do business with that person. So you have to, they basically keep you on the platform. Now I know how to kind of, you know, finesse my way through the messaging where the system won't pick up that you want to get the person's phone number, but sometimes they don't want to risk you know, saying something wrong in the messages because they are making money on eBay because the, the buyers that buy these products on eBay know that the sellers on eBay don't have direct buyers. So having a direct buyer, if you really want to take this business to like a super high level, it's something that you absolutely need. So if you guys want more information about the medical commodities business, um, I do give you the buyers that I use to my students for people who join the university training, but just more information will be in the first link down in the description. Again, thank you guys for watching. Like I said, I'm gonna go get some food. I'm out in Medellin, 
um, Columbia just chilling and enjoying, enjoying the, uh, the vibe out here. So again, thank you guys so much for the support um, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.